This is AutoLine Daily reporting on the global automotive industry. They say that revenge is sweet, and so Carlos Ghosn is suing Nissan and Mitsubishi. Ghosn wants nearly $17 million in damages, but he knows better than to file this lawsuit in Japan. So he filed in the Netherlands instead for several reasons. The holding company for the Nissan Mitsubishi Alliance is incorporated in the Netherlands, and Goen uses the country as his tax domicile. Also in the Netherlands, if you want to fire an executive, you have to tell them why and provide evidence, which Nissan hasn't done. The court is currently reviewing the suit, but hasn't set a trial date yet. Volkswagen is interested in selling off business units to raise money for its electric car investments. So Cummins wants to buy MAN Energy Solutions, which makes large diesel engines for ships and power stations. VW announced in May that it expects to get around 3 billion euros for MAN Energy. Two other companies also want the unit, according to Reuters, so there could be a bidding war. One of the problems with electric cars is that their driving range plummets in cold winter weather. So the supplier Mala developed a heat pump that can increase the winter cruising range by 7 to 20 percent by reducing the load on the battery. They call it an integrated thermal system, or ITS. It uses a refrigerant circuit comprising a chiller, a coolant cooled condenser, a thermal expansion valve, and an electric drive compressor. But instead of exchanging heat with air, the R1234YF refrigerant exchanges heat with the conventional vehicle coolant, which generates hot and cold coolant flows, so it can also cool the cabin in hot weather. The heat pump uses less energy than the heaters or AC units in today's electric cars. Ford and Waymo have said they're going to skip level 3 autonomous driving because the handoff between the driver and vehicle is too complicated. But BMW has a simple solution it thinks will help. The BMW iNext, which launches in 2021 with autonomous driving capabilities, will have a polygon-shaped steering wheel. The automaker says this makes it much easier to recognize the steering angle based on the position of the steering wheel. The side sections of the wheel are also embedded with optical fibers, which lets the driver know when automated driving is available and when they need to take over. Other benefits of the shape include more room to enter and exit the vehicle and move your legs around when driving autonomously, and the driver gets a better view of the instrument cluster. Mobility providers want to be your one-stop shop for any commuting or traveling services you may need, and to that end, Lyft is adding New York City subway directions and bus stops to its app. The information is provided in real time, but users will not be able to pay for a ride through the app. The company says this is all about reaching its goal of offering the world's best transportation. In racing news over the weekend, Kevin Harvick powered his Ford Mustang to his first victory of the season at the NASCAR race in New Hampshire. In IndyCar racing, Joseph Newgarden dominated the short oval in Iowa in his Penske Chevrolet. And in NHRA Funny Cars, Tommy Johnson ran 4.102 seconds at 308 and a half miles per hour in his Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. DuPont transforming industries and improving lives through material science, and also by Yazaki. Hey, did you see last week's AutoLine After Hours? We had a fascinating segment with Phoebe Howard, a reporter from the Detroit Free Press, talking about how she went about reporting on problems Ford is having with dual-clutch transmissions and the Fiesta in focus. Her story is a blockbuster and triggered a firestorm. Here's a clip from that show. When the story broke, the first story on the lawsuit, I had a call, I've had more than one call from Ford engineers. But the single most important call 
was an individual who called me and said, here's the code language. When you go through lawsuits, when you go through documents, here are codes you need to look for that no lawyers would know. Only engineers know these codes. So it was shorthand for these transmissions. It was shorthand for problems and how they were dealing with it. So we were able to cut through very quickly because of a whistleblower. And that show gives you a good idea of the legwork it takes to dig up all the information and follow the leads for a story like this. And you can watch that entire interview on our website and YouTube channel. But with that, we wrap up today's show. Thanks for watching.